Hey everybody, it's Daniel here from Mobile Sierra. And uh, we are here with the Galaxy S4. Uh, this is just announced tonight in uh, New York at Radio City Music Hall. Uh, it is a, a very, very similar device to its predecessor, but obviously has a lot of um, hardware differences. It is uh, obviously bigger as well, 5 inches, 1080p display. 441 pixels per inch. Uh, this is definitely a huge improvement to the 720p display on the GS3. Uh, you can see right away just how clear it is. It is one of the most gorgeous displays I've ever seen. Uh, it's also extremely fast. This comes with a 1.9 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 600 processor uh, in Canada and um, in internationally it'll come with a, a 8 core octa core snap um, Samsung processor that. Uh, will have a few different features. Both will support LTE in select markets. Uh, this comes with Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, and uh, you can see that they've changed the menu here just a little bit. Uh, there are four tabs at the top, so let's just try to find it without... Okay, so we're in here, we're going to About Device. You can see Android 4.2.2. So this is the latest version of Android, and uh, this is the only device to be launching with 4.2.2 uh, so far. It also comes with a lot of other, a lot of other new features, uh, including a 13 megapixel camera that is uh, that can take 100 shots in four seconds. You can see the new interface here. You can see actually right there. There's me. Uh, that's that's the uh, dual shot feature, picture in picture. You can actually take uh, you can actually take uh, photos at the same time from both cameras, and uh, you can affix uh, audio as well. Uh, everything looks fairly similar, though. You you are going to be using TouchWiz. Uh, which has not changed very much in, in the last year. Obviously there are, there are a few uh, new apps here including a group play app which allows you to create a mesh network with other Galaxy S4 users in the area and uh, you can play games, you can share photos, you can uh, network and do other things like that. Uh, so here we have um, a few examples of how Air view works. So if I'm just hovering my finger over uh, one of the photos, it should be able to bring it up without my interacting with it. Yeah, so you see, I just hover it over there for a second and it just comes up. And that's very much like how it works with S Pen on the Galaxy Note. Uh, a lot of other things are going to be gesture based. You can actually swipe your hand over an incoming call to answer it, uh, which is a cool feature. And uh, it should work as well for email previews. So if I hover my finger, my hand over, you can actually see the contents of an incoming email. Uh, if we double tap, you get back to the uh, S Voice app like you do on uh, the GS3, but this has been upgraded. Is that a wave? Did you wave? No, I didn't give you the wave. That was the official wave. He pulled it on me when he was walking up the stairs. Hey. He's like this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and uh, lastly, if we just take a look at the... This is the Octa-Core version, the Samsung Exynos version, but you can see the Sun Spider results are just astounding. That's 822 milliseconds. That's one of the fastest scores we've seen so far. Now, but let's just go through the hardware as well. You can see on the left side is the volume rocker, right side, power button. Top, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a uh, microphone. On the bottom, that's the power uh, charger, micro USB. It's MHL 2.0, so you will be able to hook it up to a television. Uh, it's a little bit more angular than the Galaxy S3 and it's also a little bit thinner and it definitely feels better in the hand. This is much, much more sturdy and uh, this also comes with Gorilla Glass 3 which is also much thinner and sturdier than uh, the Gorilla Glass 2 on the GS3. Um, you know, obviously here we have some features that we won't be able to show you tonight 
but um, this is definitely an improvement over the uh, predecessor, and it does not doesn't actually look nearly as much like the Galaxy Note 2 as it looks in photos. So I, I don't have one. I don't have one with me, but I, I do have the HTC One, and uh, let's just turn it on and compare. So I have that device here. And uh, you know we can't really tell major differences in the screen. They're both gorgeous, but you can also see that kind of if you see it in the light here, that new texture, and that's on the black version of the device. But the white version does not have that. Um, it's it's clear. You can see just how different the manufacturing processes are compared to these these two devices. Now, obviously, the uh, Galaxy S4 lacks the uh, dual front-facing speakers, but it does come with um, a rear speaker that has been improved as well. And this does come with a 2600 milliamp hour removable battery, 13 megapixel camera, and uh, all of the uh, all of the other good stuff that you can expect from a Samsung Android product. So we're. We have a lot more to show you in the coming days and weeks, including pricing and announcements for Canadian carriers. Um, and you can expect this at the end of April or the beginning of May. So this has been uh, Daniel from Mobile Syrup. Thank you for watching.